Hey guys, it's King Bones here, and we are back with another Kill Counts from Outer Space, the game. So today, I'm going to be talking about the update, the patches, some nerfs that they did to the clowns, and upcoming new map. So, I have a lot of information to tell you guys, not just for the map, of course, but other info as well. And yes, I do read your comment sections, I do read all of them. I will play as Chubby. As much as I don't want to play as Chubby, because I think Chubby is probably one of the worst killer clowns out there i'll i'll do it for you guys so if you guys want to see more killer clowns from outer space games like this videos like this you guys know what to do hit that subscribe button like button notification bell and without further ado let's begin all right so you guys are gonna see me play some gameplay here so this is a pre uh, recorded gameplay and honestly uh, every time I play this game, I still have a lot of fun. You know, currently right now, if I remember, I'm like a level 130 something. I think 31. But like, you might you might think I get tired of this game, but I don't. I really have a lot of fun, especially playing with a lot of people, because I have met many of you guys. I mean, I even put my name. If you guys are wondering why I put Google and then exclamation not exclamation point, but uh, the tags came Butterbones is because when people look up my name. They'll see that I'm a YouTuber and all that. So you guys will probably be in the video. If you guys do end up come across with me in the game. Hey, don't be afraid to say something, you know. The, don't be afraid at all. I love playing with fans. I really do. And it's a lot more fun. And honestly, I do not escape. Like, I, originally, when I first played the game, I'm like, yeah, we gotta escape now. We gotta escape now. You can easily find some of the escape objects right away. But when I have uh, me and my cousin playing this game, we just straight up go for the the killer clowns. We 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 are the killer clowns. We kill for the clowns. So we start just ganging up on people, and then we play with random peoples, of course. And then we just ride it. We literally just ride it towards the clowns. We did not care. We try to find as much weapons as possible, and then eventually we end up either dying or escaping because we actually run out of weapons. So if you guys ever want to join me into, you know, playing the game, don't be afraid. Let me know. If you guys see me in the game, of course, you know, say something. <laughs> so uh, let's get on to it. So yes, I do know that, you know, this game did get a minor update. Now it's just mostly some patch notes for the clowns, especially for the killer clowns, because uh, there's a lot of people that complained about the bouncer caster and the popcorn gun doing a lot of damage, which... Honestly, yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand. And you guys want the game to be balanced. Just to let you guys know, this is not a perfect game. They are listening. They are listening. Obviously, they can't go through everything all at once. But yes, the popcorn gun does way less damage now. And it gives you way less XP now. Because normally, what you can do is when a knock player is on the floor, if you shoot them twice with the popcorn gun when they're on the floor, you straight up kill them and you get tons of XP. You don't even need to cocoon them, but you get a lot. And the Bouncer Caster, I believe it takes up to 5 shots to turn them into a cotton candy cocoon. Now, the different meta that I see right now, right, you can either use the Giga Ray or the Spike uh, uh, Bat thing. Or you can use, you know, uh, one of the Chubby's uh, weapon that he has. He also has that as well. And yeah, it, you know, it works. You know, it makes the Killer Cons use the melees more often. I will say though, the Jawbreaker Spike one, the one I currently use that, it does a lot of damage. And I do use the Giga Ray, but I might switch to the other weapon. Uh, I think it's called the Petro Shot. That, that one is a really good one as well. And then with the Lore as well. So yeah, there's some minor stuff. They did, you know, pass uh, nerf some of the Killer Clowns. So uh, some people either get mad or not mad, but you know, it's all about the balancing. Now, for the upcoming maps that I think they're going to bring in, the first one, I definitely believe it will be the Circus Tent because they have showed previous clips, uh, teaser trailers, and, you know, multiple footage, including this one. This is actually the recent trailer from, not only from PlayStation, but from Ilphonic as well, where they showed this shot of the clowns going through the hallway in the Circus Tent. So they are definitely going to add it for sure. I believe they will. It's not impossible. They are going to bring it in for sure. Now, of course, it's not confirmed yet, but I believe they are because back then, if you guys remember, someone can probably tell me in the comment section, but they actually have a small two to three second clip of survivors running and the clowns trying to get them. So there's no way they made that entire map just to show off a two or three second video. So 
thankfully they are gonna add it and they are gonna add different maps now the previous packs you guys don't have to buy the dlc packs of course the um savani jumbo and the survivors killer clowns outfits those are amazing i actually really do enjoy them and it just fits very well especially with the hair color so if you want to rock uh chubby like this character that i have right here shorty rudy spiky jumbo um all that you have so many options that you can do which i really really think that's a good idea that they just add now obviously they're gonna add more dlc bundles by the looks of it because there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of leaks showing around with different types of skins and it is going to be confirmed now they have shown a shorty one uh chubby i believe spiky as well now a lot of them some of them are a bit too intense jumbo it's actually perfectly right i actually like how he looks and yeah so the only main concern i would think about this game right now is for me is the challenges so when i have a specific challenges for the survivor right i have to be a resourceful archetype and put in 10 spark plugs i done that so many times that it didn't register and that was just annoys me a lot but yeah that's that's the only thing i could say about and then when they do obviously make a patch they're gonna reset the challenges well depending what challenges you have and that just gets annoying because you got to do it over over and over again now what i think they should add when it comes to skins right is when they do holiday skins they should really do holiday skins in my opinion i think it'll just look very nice especially when halloween comes around because i know friday the 13th had two skins that are not really holidays but one of them was from like hell hell and then the other one is like the retro one the blue and pink so if they do add like holiday skins or celebration skins that'll be pretty cool but not too intense of course now obviously what i want in my previous videos that i mentioned that they should add skins from the actual movie we don't have rosebud and <laughs> we don't have daisy we also don't have like uh for instance blue bow or fatso you know that can all fit into the chubby category now spiky has a lot of cousins they're called cousins and obviously all of them have them too because rosebud and daisy they have the shorty face so they can fit that into shorty and i think they should really add so many killer clown skins into the game from the movie because there's a lot there's a lot lot that they can do so obviously they're gonna probably gonna bring them out as dlcs uh i don't see an item shop happening i don't see a battle pass happening i don't think that's coming out so far they're getting out uh, i think they're called savani skins which the one that jumbo looks like it looks like a devilish uh haunted character so they're definitely gonna you know bring more of those because people actually like them and then for the survivors as well uh the only survivor that i'm surprised they haven't gotten yet is dave so i don't know why dave is not in the game he is legit the cop and i'm surprised you know i'm very surprised maybe they'll add him as a dlc maybe they need the voice actor but they should really really bring him in now when it comes to upcoming maps the thing that i can think about right now we already have the suburbs we already have downtown right now obviously they don't have everything everything because when there was that specific scene in the movie where they showed the i believe is the parade marching of the killer clowns where they just snatch people turn them into con candy cocoons and they put them into this um this machine which sucks the con candy cocoons so either that's part part of downtown or that's a whole separate map which i think they should add that now they have mentioned a college in the movie so i don't know if they're gonna add like the college college from them from the movie so maybe that's another thing that they can do is add the college into the game but i'm not sure that's just me but for sure they're gonna add the circus tent because they keep teasing it over and over in these in these trailers so so far what do you what do you guys think what type of maps do you guys think they're gonna bring out maybe a graveyard or maybe like a we already have like a forest vibe where the circus tent is in the middle of nowhere um uh, the top of the world we have that there's so many maps that they added even some of them that are not even in the movie 
like the uh i believe i forgot what that map is called but it's basically the clown map the clown camp map that's not in the movie what i remember so they are definitely gonna add different creative maps so the game doesn't get boring along the way so that's what i think so weapons now there are many many weapons now i don't know if they're gonna add weapon skins i don't know if they are that's probably a good idea to be honest adding cosmetics for the weapon skins because if you guys see uh in the movie there's a scene where there's a, so many clowns where the survivors like mike debbie and dave they all went up onto this like pyramid type thing and there's so many clowns around them and they have all these unique weapons i'm pretty sure i saw a golf club in there but all of these look very unique now they're obviously not going to bring those weapons in the game but at least have them as a cosmetics there's so many things they could do now obviously you can make your own designs for you know for the the skins for the killer clowns but maybe they can do skin cosmetics customized for the weapons because they have tees about the sniper rifle so many times that i thought they were going to add the sniper rifle but i also thought they're not going to add it so they should really add at least more weapons for the survivors and the killer cons as well or at least make our own design but not change anything like attachments and all that but it doesn't affect the gameplay so that's what i think they should add now i would like to thank all of you for liking my videos watching my videos and subscribing to my videos that I make. I'm very, very grateful. You guys are absolutely amazing. That's why I'm about to do this giveaway on June 21st. Uh, I don't know exactly the time. I will announce it in my Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, it'll be in the description. I will announce it. It's going to be $150 worth of gift cards. It's going to be Steam gift cards mixed with uh, Robux and all that uh, because I have a lot of audience people that actually likes Roblox in here. So I will also add that as well. And maybe other gift cards as well. So if you guys want to see more Killer Counts from Outer Space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bells, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.